Hi everybody, my name is Chris Hamilton and today I'm gonna to be walking you through the Cypress Virtual Choir tutorial. First things first, you're gonna need a few items. You're gonna need a computer, a tablet, and a cell phone. Now you don't need all three, but if you have at least two of those, it's gonna help you the best with this process. You will also need a pair of headphones. Now you can either accomplish this using something like AirPods, or earbuds, or if you have some, you can use some over the ear headphones. Just make sure that you have a pair of headphones that will plug into either your cell phone or your computer. The first step that we're going to do is actually to download the file that you will be singing to. The first step that we need to do is head over to our email. Locate the email that I have sent you from wetransfer.com and click get your files. Once you're directed to the next website, you will click the download button and it will either download the file into your downloads folder or allow you to choose which folder that you would like it to be downloaded to. You can also download this file using your phone. Follow the same steps and then locate the file on your phone, either in your camera roll or you will need to have a application that allows you to view files on your phone. And there you have it. You have already downloaded the file that you will need to sing along to the rest of the worship. So now that you've downloaded the file, go to your computer and find the file. It will more likely be in your downloads folder or wherever you decided to download it to. Here I am on our computer and I've located the file. I know, sounds good, right? So now that we have our virtual choir ready to go, now it's time for step two, for us to set up our own video recording. When it comes to recording your part to the virtual choir, you can use any of the devices you have, just not the device that you're also listening to the song with. So if you're using your computer to play the song, then you should use your phone to record your part. If you're using your phone to hear the song, then you should use your computer to record the part. Those who are familiar with Zoom can just simply set their laptop up in a way and use the forward facing webcam and microphone to record themselves while as they sing along. If you're on a PC, press the Windows button, then type in camera. The camera app will appear. Press take video and the video will begin. Sing along to the video and then when you're done, press the stop button. If you're on a Mac, click on Launchpad and then open Photo Booth. Make sure that you're toggled over to recording a video and then press the record video button. Sing along to the worship and then press the stop button when you have finished. After you're done, make sure you can locate your file so that you can send it off in the next step. Simply go to your camera app, switch over to the selfie mode, and then begin to record a video. I don't have any kind of tripod or anything here, so I'm holding this phone and this is gonna get tiring. What I can do though, is place the phone right here on my laptop and I can sing just like this. Make sure you have your headphones on so that the phone does not pick up the audio from the computer. So we're gonna play it again, and this time we're gonna sing along with it. La 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 la. And now we have recorded our part to the virtual worship. Make sure that when you go to record your virtual choir part, that you're in a room which is well lit and free of clutter, and that it's quiet so that others do not disturb your voice as it is being recorded into your phone or computer. Now we're ready for step three, which is to share your video with the editor we are going to use wetransfer.com. Once you're on wetransfer.com, you're going to click add your files. Select the photo library option and then select the file that you would like to send. Afterwards, you will be prompted to write a short message for your file. After this, you will select the send an email option and then input the email of the person that you're sending the file to as well as your own email. If you have not used WeTransfer before, you will need to verify your email. Go to the email that you entered in for yourself 
and then enter the verification code that they have sent you. This is a one-step process and you won't have to do it again after you verify this email. The file will begin transferring and once it is completed, you will be greeted with a message letting you know that you're done. If you would like to make this process even easier, you can go ahead and finish the steps for signing up for our free WeTransfer account. And that pretty much wraps this video up. If you have any questions, please make sure that you reach out to me so I can help you along this process. And let's continue to work together to bring God glory. This is an effort to help our praise and worship here at Cypress Church of Christ. And I thank you and appreciate you for participating here with us at Cypress. God bless. Amen.